Imagine standing face to face with a beast so terrifying, its tusks could shred bone in an instant. This is the shocking true story of when early humans, Homo habilis, the African landscape of 3.2 million years ago was brutal and unforgiving. Predators roamed freely, from giant cats to monstrous boars. And in the middle of this savage world stood Homo habilis, our primitive ancestors. Fragile yet cunning. Homo habilis was small compared to modern humans, with long arms, short legs, and a brain only half the size of ours. But despite their weaknesses, they carried one priceless advantage, the ability to use tools for survival. These early humans relied on crude stone flakes, sharpened by striking rocks together. While not advanced, these tools gave them the edge to crack bones, cut meat, and sometimes defend themselves against larger, more powerful enemies. But against the saber-tusked boar, scientifically known as Matridio coeris andrusi, tools were not always enough. This giant creature, with tusks curving outward like swords, could weigh over 600 pounds and charge with unstoppable force. The boar's tusks were its ultimate weapon. Unlike modern pigs, these tusks were sharp, long, and curved forward, designed to gore predators and rivals alike. A single swing could tear open flesh, bone, or anything unlucky enough to block its path. For Homo habilis, survival meant avoiding direct confrontation. But food was scarce, and hunger often drove them toward danger. When carcasses or edible plants were not enough, desperation could bring them face to face with beasts like the saber-tusked boar. Picture this, a small band of Homo habilis approaches a riverbank. The ground is littered with tracks. Something massive had passed through recently. And then, from the tall grass, comes the sound of grunting and heavy breathing. The saber-tusked boar emerges, its massive body shaking the earth beneath. The Homo habilis freeze, their eyes wide with fear. They know this encounter is not just a threat, it is a battle between survival and extinction. The boar lowers its head, tusks glistening in the sun. This is no ordinary animal, this is a prehistoric monster designed for war. One wrong move, and early humans would be crushed or torn apart within seconds. Homo habilis was intelligent enough to know they couldn't win in brute strength. Their only chance lay in strategy, using their tools teamwork, and quick thinking to outmaneuver the beast, but would it be enough against such raw power? The group quickly gathers stones, gripping them tightly, the sharp edges reflect in the light, crude but deadly in desperate hands, they huddle together, their hearts pounding, preparing for the most terrifying test of their lives. The boar charges, dust flies into the air as the ground trembles under its weight, the humans scatter, narrowly avoiding the deadly tusks. The air fills with screams and roars as predator and prey collide in chaos. One homo habilis hurls a stone at the boar's head. It strikes, but the beast barely flinches. Instead, enraged, it turns its fury toward the attacker. Survival instinct takes over as the humans realize, retreat is not an option. They circle around the boar, throwing rocks and swinging stone tools whenever it lunges. The strategy is not to kill, but to exhaust, confuse and survive long enough to drive the beast away, but the boar will not yield easily. A tusk slices through the leg of one homo habilis, blood sprays, and the cries of agony echo across the plains. The others rally, screaming and striking to distract the beast before it delivers a fatal blow. This brutal encounter highlights the harsh truth of prehistoric life. Every day was a gamble, every moment a fight, for homo habilis. Death was never far away, whether from predators hunger, or the unforgiving forces of nature. The saber-tusked boar, though terrifying, was not invincible, even predators feared its tusks, but against the persistence and intelligence of Homo habilis, its rage began to falter, the hunters had become the hunted. Finally, one well-aimed stone smashes into the boar's eye, the beast recoils in pain, thrashing wildly, seizing the opportunity, the humans rush forward striking with sharp flakes until the monster staggers backward, retreating into the brush. The humans, bruised and bloodied, collapse in exhaustion. One lies wounded, his leg torn but still alive. They had survived what could have been their extinction at the hands of one of nature's deadliest beasts. This moment was more than survival, it was evolution in motion. Homo habilis proved that intelligence could overcome brute force. It was not the strongest who thrived, but the clever, the united and the persistent.
the saber-tusked boar remained a constant threat for generations, shaping the way early humans lived, hunted, and evolved. Each encounter forced them to innovate, adapt, and sharpen the very skills that would define humanity's rise. The scars left behind were not just physical but written into memory, stories told around fires, warnings passed to children. The boar was not merely an animal, it became a symbol of survival against impossible odds. Imagine the fear in their eyes, the pounding of their hearts, the overwhelming knowledge that a single mistake meant death. This was life three, two million years ago, not comfort, not security, but raw, unending struggle. And yet, it was within this struggle that humanity's greatest strength was born, not our size, not our claws, not our speed, but our minds, minds sharp enough to outweed even the deadliest beasts of the ancient world. The saber-tusked boar would eventually vanish from history, its bones left buried beneath layers of earth, but its legacy lived on in the evolution of our species, forever shaping the path of human survival. For Homo habilis, every victory, no matter how small, was a step toward dominance. Every encounter was a lesson written in blood, fire, and stone, and the encounter with the saber-tusked boar was one such defining chapter. 3.2 million years ago, survival was not guaranteed, it was earned, through courage, sacrifice, and unity, against predators like the saber-tusked boar. Our ancestors forged the instincts that would carry humanity into the future. Today, when we look back at fossils and artifacts, we see more than bones and stones, we see stories of survival, moments of terror and triumph, carved into the very foundation of human history. Without battles like these, without the constant clash of survival against extinction, humanity might never have risen to become what it is today. The saber-tusked boar, though extinct, played its part in shaping who we are. When Homo habilis picked up a stone and faced the beast, they were doing more than surviving, they were inventing courage, strategy and cooperation, they were planting the seeds of human destiny. Generations later, these lessons carried forward, from Homo habilis to Homo erectus, from stone flakes to fire, from caves to civilizations, it all began with survival in the shadow of monsters like the saber-tusked boar. The encounter was not just an accident of nature, it was evolution's test, and our ancestors passed, not with strength or weapons, but with unity, persistence and the spark of intelligence burning brighter than fear. Every scar they carried, every wound endured, every victory won, added another line to the story of mankind. The saber-tusked boar was a chapter, but humanity was the book still being written. Picture the silence after the battle, the humans gather, tending wounds, trembling, but alive, around them lies the trampled grass, the marks of tusks, and the blood that reminds them of how fragile life truly was. The wounded one is carried by the group, proof that even in a world of predators, compassion existed, they did not leave their own behind. This, too, was part of humanity's survival, strength in unity. As the sun set over the savanna, shadows stretched across the land, the saber-tusked boar had vanished into the wild, but its presence still haunted the humans' minds. Survival had been won, but only for today. Tomorrow, another predator would come, another challenge. Another trial. This was the cycle of life 3.2 million years ago, never ending. Always dangerous. Always demanding more than what seemed possible. But every tomorrow they survived brought humanity closer to its destiny. From fragile creatures hiding in the grass, they would rise to rulers of the world. And it all began with moments like this. The clash between Homo habilis and the saber tusked boar was not just survival, it was evolution unfolding. It was history being carved by blood and stone, it was the story of mankind's unbreakable will. The boar's tusks, once feared, now lay broken in memory, but the stones of Homo habilis remained, the tools, the weapons, the proof that intelligence could conquer even the fiercest monsters of prehistory. The savannah winds whispered the truth, humanity's survival was not luck, it was earned, through fear faced and battles endured and in that truth lay the foundation of everything humanity would one day become. Every scream, every strike, every heartbeat of that encounter carried forward into the DNA of our species. The courage of Homo habilis was not lost, it lives within us, even now, millions of years later. The saber-tusked boar may be extinct, but its ghost lingers in our imagination. It reminds us that humanity was forged in struggle, molded in fire, 
sharpened by danger, and tested by beasts of unthinkable power. Life 3.2 million years ago was no fairy tale, it was a nightmare of predators and prey, and yet, from that nightmare, humanity awoke, stronger, smarter, and destined to rise above the beasts of the wild. This is not just the story of Homo habilis, this is the story of us all, a reminder that humanity's greatest victories were born from its darkest battles, and that survival was our first and most sacred achievement. If you found this journey into prehistory gripping, imagine what other secrets remain buried in time, subscribe, follow, and join us as we uncover the shocking stories of humanity's past, where survival was not just life, but destiny.